this path and then suddenly it's a case of right this doesn't work I'm going to be very upset if there's a car battery I'm guessing it's here there we go this is all assuming he goes to this one if he goes to the other one he might not <clears throat> he might not go that way. Yeah, he appears to be in there. So... Puddles of water. I think I'm safe in saying that that is the biggest one there. The difficulty is, if I shoot it, that guy will hear it, so I'm wondering if I can shoot it and not uh, and pick it up after. Nope! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi, welcome to JJ's Productions and I had to put that clip in at the beginning because it is still a mark of shame that I managed to kill myself an elusive target so I thought I can't leave that out there just for the people who might be wondering hang on why is this elusive target 3 and you haven't done 2 uh, so yeah that was it really awkward in the live stream and I couldn't even cut my console off in time so yeah I was really stuck as you'll notice, my loadout is low on this one as well because I've had to create a separate account for elusive targets and yep, this was my second attempt at it, but I did know the route by this point. So I'm going to let the intro clip for the appraiser begin, just for those of you who don't know what the challenge is, and after that we'll show you how you do it. So, I'll see you in about a minute and a bit. Good evening, 47. Your target is Miranda Jameson. Famous art appraiser and director of the Gorka Institute in Barcelona. Mrs. Jameson is one of the key drivers of the extensive price fixing that takes place in the art world. Her callous approach to the fine arts business has destroyed countless galleries and resulted in the suicides of several artists ruined by her actions. Two weeks ago, Jameson hired a gang of thieves to steal a valuable painting from a former client. Jameson aims to impress adventurer Blake Nathaniel with the stolen artwork. But the owner has discovered her involvement and hired the ICA to retire her and retrieve her personal notebook. The client wants Jameson eliminated before the artwork is revealed, so time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. So, as this was on my separate account, I didn't have anything in my loadout because I have really not used the game, so um, it was quite fun just playing the Isle of Scale and not actually having any gadgets whatsoever. I didn't even have a lockpick, so that was really awkward, but we managed to get through it. So, as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way to where the target is, but as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've been having troubles with my controller and that was showing up here already where 47 looks like he's running with a limp so trust me you've got a chance of doing this much faster than i did even though you can't see the mission timer you should be able to do it faster if you've got a half decent controller because i feel like half the time i'm just stopping and starting so as you've seen we've climbed the pipe and we're coming into the the barracks i pick up a gun but that was just as a backup i didn't think i'd really need it equally same thing for the muffin what we want to do is get ourselves over to where uh, Jameson's going to be. It's by the warehouse. So I'm picking up things as I go along, but it's more just in case I need a, a distraction rather than a necessary tool. So, for instance, I would bring the brick and the soda can just because they're going to be good in the next room. But equally, you don't have to pick up the muffin or the gun. So I threw a coin there just to get past these two. And... Once you've managed to walk past them, uh, we're going to go through the door on the left up ahead. So it's a bit easy this, you know, I've done it in the Silent Assassin suit only playthrough, but I'll admit at the time it was a little bit 
tense because I was thinking if this goes wrong, I'm playing an elusive target, so there is a little bit of edge to it. I'm going to throw a coin just to split these two up, and I'll admit I did actually forget I hadn't got the lockpick, so I decided I could suddenly go through a door I couldn't. So that created a bit of a time limit here. I had to knock this woman out, hide a body just out of sight so this guy wouldn't see her legs, and I'd have to knock him out. This was very tense trying to do it live. Um, so yeah, knock this guy out, and then we can hide both the bodies. I could breathe for a moment at this point. For what it's worth, if you've got things unlocked, I would advise starting, starting at either the chapel or the warehouse. My preference would be to start at the warehouse because you've got a disguise and it's right by where we're going to complete the kill. Whereas if you start at the chapel, you will have to make your way across there and it is a little bit of a jaunt. It's not impossible by any means, but you will need to change disguise maybe twice. So it's your call, but I'd advise going for the uh, chapel. Uh, not Sorry, avoiding the chapel and going for the warehouse if you've got it. Anyway, I've got disguise on. I wasn't exactly sure what this disguise uh, unlocks. I haven't used it in my main account. But uh, at this point, my main objective was just to get towards the warehouse. And... I wasn't actually convinced how I could get there in this disguise, so I was just taking my time. I thought, there's an enforcer there, I don't want him seeing me. So let's just take it nice and easy. So, as you can see, I've gone around the side, there was a jump cut there. I've had to record this on the PS4. And I'm just going to try and get a disguise, preferably one of these elite guards. But, as it turns out, the best one is the raider. So, I do get the raider. I was hoping for one of the elite guards, but as it turns out, the raider is much more accessible and it's quicker to get it as far as what we're doing. So, we're just going to walk along here. We're going to jump across this little gap. And essentially, we're just going to go into the room where the two guards are with the security cameras. I think I should do the surveillance while I'm there as well, because that's pretty handy to do. So, climb through. Make sure that guy isn't looking, otherwise it gets very awkward, you don't want to be caught trespassing. And get the raider out of it, and then I would delete the surveillance as well, I do dilly dally over that because I happen to forget that I've been caught once, I, th I think I've been caught once already anyway at this point. If anything I will get caught, so you've got to delete them anyway. So, as in the Silent Assassin route I've shown on the channel before, throw a coin up the corner. I find it funny how they've got an open window there, and on Master Difficulty it's uh, locked. <laughs> it, sorry, the little changes in Master and Professional are really interesting me. But anyway, as you can see, I threw a coin. That guy's going to go over. There might be a little hint of suspicion, but don't worry about it. Throw a brick or any good knockout device. I wouldn't throw the muffin, for instance, but uh, the rest should be fine. Drag him into this closet and take his disguise. What, what I'd do then is I'd walk through the door, Equip your silence pistol and shoot the surveillance, but I go all the way through and forget that I need to actually shoot the surveillance. It's when that pops up I realise I need to do it. So I had a little bit of a moment here thinking what do I do, and then I remembered I have got a disguise on I can walk into that area with, so Sophia spooked me there, I thought hang on is she going to be an enforcer, is the guard with her an enforcer, but yeah just keep you calm. Um, you shouldn't have to do any of this if you just don't do what I did, which is forget that you've got uh, cameras to delete. So aim, shoot, that's out of the way. So the next thing you've got to do really is get down to the warehouse. It's something I've been saying a few times already, but it's taken a while to get there. And it's taken, when I say it's taken a while, it's actually taken far longer than it should. I mean, really, the only thing we need was a disguise. And if I'd have snuck around a little bit more, I could have probably got an elite guard one near of two. But I'm not complaining because this is arguably the better disguise for the situation. So we're going down here and really we want to just climb down that pipe. However, there's an enforcer who's looking directly here and it's annoying because I think, really? You're looking directly at the top of the ear? But, okay. So say you've getting caught trying to climb down the pipe I thought let's take the long way round so we're going to go around this uh, the warehouse building using the ledge you will get a bit of suspicion but you should be able to round the corner before it uh, maximises so as you can see I'm out of sight now we're going to go all the way until there's an open window so again there's a little jump cut there sorry about that 
but uh, all we're doing is just waiting for an open window, which I think is just here, so climb through that. I did just check to make sure there wasn't someone who'd see me going through, you don't want to get caught that way. So once you've done that, we're going to make our way downstairs, because that is really the way. I was a bit lost at this point, I hadn't really gone in this window before, so I was like, okay, where am I? <laughs> Um, but yeah, the idea is to go downstairs. So I've got a key card for that door, so that's a no-go. So just as you see, I found my way. You just go down these stairs, and that's pretty much it as far as getting out of the warehouse. This, I hope this is interesting from a, anyone who is doing it from level one, because I was actually concerned I wouldn't have got the Isle of Scale completed in time. So I was most likely going to have to do this anyway. So uh, yeah, it's quite fun. So there's the target, and she's actually just been where we're going to kill her. The trouble is, right, she fooled me. Well, she was standing right where we were going to kill her, and then moved to take the phone call. Now, if I'd have known that she was going to uh, go back to that spot after the phone call, I would have shot the oil tank. But I thought she wasn't going to go back there for a bit, so I was just basically playing the, playing the waiting game and thinking, right, I'll wait for the phone call, go, and then deal with it. But as it turns out, I was a bit impatient, so what I decided to do was just go around and get the notebook that we need for the secondary objective. That was also what did me in my main uh, account playthrough. I didn't actually do the oil tank, I tried to use lethal poison and got spotted. But what got me was the idea that I'd already used the notebook, so if I'd have quick fast enough I'm pretty sure I would have been able to... Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to think, if I'd been able to quit fast enough, I would have been able to restart. So, it's a little annoying, but you, what can you really do? It, you know, if anything, it's just, I don't really want to use the secondary account, but it is handy. As I say, if I'd seen it, I would have shot the oil barrel, uh, the oil tank, because she was there, she's having a smoke, she kills herself, it's such an easy kill. And also, if you do start in the warehouse, literally, your spawn point is just to the right. It's so easy to kill her. So... If you've got that, please use it because you'll get through this in no time. Granted, you might think to yourself you're missing a lot of the, uh, the conversations that come from this mission, but honestly, as far as completing it, it's the easiest one that you could get. So all we got to do is aim there, shoot the tank. There will be a bit of a steam let off, but nothing to worry about. Once you see that the steam's gone, you know the oil's leaked, and you can just make your way to the exit. It's actually quite easy to get there as well because this disguise is, I wouldn't say it's um, foolproof, I think there might be one or two enforcers to it, but compared to say the general uh, guards or even some of the more event staff related ones, there aren't many better uh, disguises in the game in my opinion. So yeah, I, it's pretty easy to make your way to the exit. In fact, the, the difficulty I had was 47 deciding to walk instead of run in certain instances. So we have got another jump cut there. I really wish I could solve that on the PS4 recording. If anyone knows how to fix it, please let me know. But uh, yeah, what I'm actually decided to do was I actually thought it would it be worth it if I changed back into my suit. So yeah, I had plenty of time on my hands because I knew that Miranda would, you know, go on a pretty long route. Hello, so there wasn't much point in, you know, just standing around for a while, so I thought, let's get the suit back and try and sneak out. So yeah, I actually went the more difficult way as well, because I decided to climb down the ladder, which, whilst not illegal in this disguise, is a little bit awkward. So yeah, go down the ladder, and we're going to go into the room we left the suit in. I This is actually what happened, for, this is the moment where I actually realised, hang on, I'll change into the suit, because as you can see, I'm waiting by an exit. And it's as if I just said to myself, if you watch back the live stream, you'll see it. I said, I'm going to change back into my suit. It's a bit more fun. So make sure you drop the rifle if you picked it up like I did. You don't want to carry that thing around with the suit. So there's the disguise. We're going to change into it. And that is pretty much it as far as the difficulties. All we've got to do is make our way back out the same way we got in. You could even wait here and just exit over there. It's entirely up to you. I decided to go down to the speedboat because, as I've said, I've got plenty of time. And the guards actually have quite a good route, uh, a good pattern here, so you can afford to just wait and, you know, as I've said, Miranda just takes her time getting back to that uh, oil tank. So if you're faster, you could probably just say, right, I'm not going to just exit in my disguise, no bother. 
But me, I just got that much time, I thought, let's use it. So yeah, just sneak around this little area. I'm not sure if I threw a coin just to distract him, I don't think I did. No, I didn't, so I just snuck through. I go through the window on the left, climb down the pole, and I'm just at the front of the castle again, so all I've got to do is make my way to the pier, or the arbour. So, I'm going to leave it there. I'll fast forward until the kill's confirmed, but thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you don't like seeing stuff like that previously on uh, Elusive Targets section, just let me know and I'll try and not do that in the future, but personally I did find it something just a little bit funny, especially considering how embarrassing it was that first time. So, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, sit as well, subscribe to JJ's Productions for more Hitman 2 content. Other than that, see you next time, folks. Bye, everyone. Job done, Fortress. Head for an exit, and I'll wire the money as per usual.